You can't give up. That's counting on you. You've got to figure out who's behind these origami cogs. Awesome, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to make it to Gigi's funeral, but uh, Matthew had a setback. Nora and I had to take him to a new rehab facility in Philly. I'm sorry to hear that. He's gonna be okay? That's the plan. How are you doing? Fine. Why? I don't know, maybe it's just the setting, but uh, you look a little different. Whatever's on this tape is the reason that Marty tried to kill me. But John says that the Gigi had this with her when she died. How? Because I distinctly remember this tape recorder being up on the roof of Angel Square Hotel. What do you have to do with any of this? David, for the hundredth time, go! I want you off my property! Dorian, I'm not your Pekingese. You can't just shoo me away. I told you, you're evicted. You're not my landlord, either. You're my wife. You're the love of my life. Don't you know by now that I would never cheat on you? You're the cream in my coffee. Mm. The butter on my muffin top. Not that I have a muffin top. No, you don't have a muffin top. You have cupcake tops. Can't you see this entire thing is a setup? If you can't see by now how much I love you and how much you mean to me, let's finish this whole thing right now. We'll get you another gun and you can shoot me because without you, Dorian, life is not worth living. Who's that? Oh. Sorry. I didn't even hear you come in. You were kind of lost in that photo. Who is it? My dad. Oh, wait a minute now. That frame's not as fancy as the one you had with my old face in it. Honey, it's just a frame, okay? Mm. Old face, new face, I still love you. So who broke it anyway, Natalie? She hates me enough. Natalie doesn't hate you. And I don't know who broke it, but I'm sure whatever happened, it was an accident, you know. Unless... Unless what? Unless it wasn't. Excuse me? Uh, what do you think you're doing? John think that you know what's on this tape. Sally didn't have another man's baby. She had John's. I was <clears throat> going over the evidence we collected at the scene. You know, the basement where Rex found Gigi. It was on the floor. How'd I get there? I don't know. I was just looking for something to help us nail Jack Manning, and I saw the tape recorder. I remember you saying you had one like it when you got into it with Marty, so I listened. What was on it? Nothing. It's blank. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, Marty wouldn't try to kill me over a blank tape. She's not even that crazy. Maybe it's not the same tape. For all we know, Gigi had one just like it. I guess I was just hoping I'd find out what I can't remember. I'm sorry. Me too. You, uh, you listened to the tape? Yeah, I did. Which is why I don't understand why you didn't tell Natalie yourself. There's some reason you want me to be the bad guy? Oh, I would have gladly shot you dead. Only we found that dead body in the bushes. Baby, you wouldn't shoot me. You love me. Oh, this slutty slut thinks she would. That's why she sent you over the package with a gun in it. She ain't my slutty slut. I have no idea why she would send me anything, much less a handgun. This entire thing is obviously a setup. That is 
so idiotically self-absorbed. Okay, well, just, just... Th think about it for, for one second. Mm -hmm. Who spent months in a dungeon while Clint tried to make you believe that I was up to my armpits and debutantes? That was me. <sighs> so doesn't it stand to reason that it's possible that someone's trying to make you believe that I'm having an affair when I'm not? Explain this. Well, I can't account for that woman's bad taste. Oh, anyone who wants you has bad taste. Baby, we love each other. You're the strawberry in my champagne. Oh, please, David. I can't do this anymore. So that's it, huh? No more movie premiere. No more marriage. Oh, please stop it, okay? But I mean, just go. Please. Oh, ye of little faith. Oh. about pictures in the sun I don't want to talk about it come on Dorian these aren't real are they come on you don't think David is having an affair with this woman do you it's not your dad I've seen your dad he doesn't look anything like that oh, not anymore but that was him before the plastic surgery you're kidding right he disappeared for a long time. Everyone thought that he was dead, but he was really alive. He got beaten so badly that he needed reconstructive surgery. And when he came back looking the way he does now, no one believed it was him, that he was Todd Manning, except for me. I knew. How? Oh. My little brothers are a lot younger than I am, so I was an only child for a while. My dad and I were so close. He would let me have snakes, and we would stay up all night watching horror movies. And he called me Shorty. Must have been nice. Yeah, it was. I missed all that with my dad. Yeah, you can still have a relationship with him. It's a little late for him to call me Shorty. So, why are you looking at a picture of your dad with his old face? Oh, so you think that someone actually did break a picture of me on purpose? I came home earlier and these doors were open and I know I closed them when I left. And I went outside and I got this weird feeling there was somebody there watching me. Who? If I knew that. So your idea is that someone broke into the house, smashed a picture of me on purpose and then spied on you from the terrace? <laughs> Why are you sneaking into Mr. Manning's office? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Vimal Patel. I'm Mr. Manning's new associate. Are you? That's great. Your parents must be very proud. I, I, I will need to see some ID, though, or I will have to call security. Look, I know you didn't want uh, Gigi's heart to go to Clint, and I understand that, but to trade her heart for his house, all his assets? He's my father. I'm just taking what's mine. Well, and he owes you. There's no doubt about that, but to pin the man to his deathbed, that, that's not you, Balsam. Well, so maybe I've changed. Maybe having Gigi killed by a heartless punk who got away with it because his daddy's rich, maybe that changed me. Maybe I finally see the world for what it really is. It's brutal, unless you have enough money to protect the people you love. They took Gigi. They almost took Shane. You can understand why I want to protect them. Yeah. You want to protect Shane. I understand that. And I am with you on Jack Manning. But he's not better off from all of this. And you know that. Because you're a dad. You can't protect your kid from his own mistakes. And Jack's going to find that out the hard way. If there's any justice. What's this really all about, boss? What the hell kind of name is Origami Cogs anyway? Food. That's what I need. Okay, relax. You don't you don't need to call security. I have every right to be here. We haven't been introduced. My name is Kent. Nicholas Kent. So why are you sneaking into Mr. Manning's well, office? I didn't Nicholas want to disturb Kent. him. I mean, you know how he gets. Yes, he values his privacy. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. I'm the trash collector. Maintenance? Sure. If you want to point it that way. Well, usually the maintenance men around here wear uniforms. They also have collection cards, 